Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Alright, we're back. We still had no resolution. Yeah, we called him, and he seems to remember both versions of our story as yeah. the correct one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, it happened after midnight oh because we were several rounds of King's Cup in. And I remember it happening super early in the night. Which is not true because it was well that, after yeah. 1 o'clock when we went to get stuff Shut for him. Up. At least give me no, well, that that had already been well. It had already been going on for a while after that, though. Yeah, because because I, I remember uh, your girlfriend and what what did we refer to? The, uh, did we just call him sexually ambiguous at the like? Yeah, sexually ambiguous. Yeah. Uh, so we just called it, and S A came in around that time. They both came in relatively the same time. Zach, this is a waste of time. Uh, yes, and that was like around midnight. It was it was after midnight. Well, regardless, he had already been in that state for like an hour. It was after. Well, that's this. So yeah, here's here's my nice speech. Mm, no, mm. because I had the time. Hot. I had the time to uh, Gina the Rose. Yeah, are you, you are. fucking whatever? The Your bitch is like a out. rose. <laughs> Her underwear is just straight out he in the open. Yeah, it's fine. That's not really okay. No, it's fine. You I mean, I, my partner's walking around as. Really? A cat girl, so yeah. This old thing. It's fine. You should see. Something. Nice. <laughs> you. Her belt's not even on. You are. Cool. Like her belt is literally or, like drooping off her waist. You should come. So I'm gonna get laid. I'll give you a little. But she's married, right? Yeah. yeah that's the guy right next to her. <laughs> the guy right next to her is is her husband. Service would be great. Now about my current case. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but regardless, like of what happened. It's still unclear. The, literally, the only time we'll know for sure is if we go back in time and, like... Which, we'll figure this out someday. <laughs> Do I have is to talk to Jim? I don't think so. Because I've already met we'll, Jim, we'll, right? we'll just talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah, fuck fine. it, why not? That's fine. we got to do this well, yeah, stupid uh, investigation. So, right it's, it's the second when this is going up. Because this is the eighth episode in this session. Well, I guess they do, son. So what's up, man? <laughs> we literally spent in between episodes just arguing and calling Seth, figuring this out. Like, I'm still, I'm still a thousand percent sure. I'm a, and I'm a thousand percent that I'm, sure. That I'm right. Well, it, it, what makes it even more unclear is because he even said he, like, remembers it both ways. Yeah, he said that he said that the timing sounded right for mine, but the events sounded right for his. Yeah. Which is to say, like... Miguel remembers people coming over around 8 and the I drinking the starting. Yeah. Um, however, he remembers it was post-midnight when... He, well, that's when he blacked out. That's, yeah. when, that's when he can't remember anything past that point. I mean, regardless, it was on about the threshold of the 23rd, 24th, but we've always referred to it as the 23rd. I've always referred to it as the 24th. Then you're the only one who's referred to it as... Because all of us Seth have... did. No, he, he, we've always said the 23rd. We're not... N what, what I was saying is we've always called it the 23rd. I'm not going to call him again. Whether or not it again. actually happened. Well, no, we don't But I lived with him, him for years after we called it the 24th. Are... The 24th. Well, when we were living there, he and I always referred to it as the 23rd. And we still refer to it together as the 23rd. Okay, but we still refer to it 40 years later as the 24th. He and I have talked this year and called it the 23rd. I don't believe that. Yeah, because you were outside talking to Kid about six-dimensional theory. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, see, it's so dimensional theory. it's all unclear is what we're saying. <laughs> I'm just saying you can you can be remembering this. Totally you can remember it totally differently as well. Man, we need to stop fighting in front of the kids. We really should. Uh, talk to these suspects. These guys are cool. I, I believe he's where you get uh, like in the later side quest. I believe he's where you get the uh, the infinite machine gun from. Oh, that's cool. FBI, I'm Keith Ingram. Uh, that that's that's the shit kid's dad. Ah, okay. Yeah, check out his six sideburns. Nice special agent Francis York. Morgan. Back in the hole. <laughs> See, he fucking uh, like that's why I'm pretty sure uh, York does have OCD because he does things the same way every time. Yeah, yeah. The milk barn. What like? We we should we should make a store and just call it call it like Milk Haven, and all we do is like sell guns or something. <laughs> Okay, if you ever opened up a store, what would it be? That's the common question of the day. Mm, that's interesting. Scar rocks. 
I mean, is it a store or a restaurant, or can it be one of the two? It could be whatever. If you were ever to open up a building slash business, what would it be? Because I would open up a sandwich shop. I'd probably open up a, a private investigator firm. Okay. You'd be a private dick? Yeah. Nice of you. Um, not because I, not because I glamorize that. Like I, I yeah. actually know what private investigation is about. Right. Yeah, but I have, uh, without going yeah, into Lily. many details about it, I have a background in investigation. Yeah. Um, it's Lily Ingram. That's the mother. Yeah, she's married to that other guy. Yeah. How could any, be, how could Agent, anyone be married okay? to that guy? You are good. Yeah, I want to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I've got a background in investigation. I know. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm really good at investigation, well, I can't say much in general. Um, the way I introduce and that's, that's not a very I humble brag, a but, uh... A ritual of sorts. A ritual of sorts, see? Everyone has their own rituals. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like, always leaving the house left foot first. I, I'm pretty sure I always leave right foot first. <laughs> certainly are I don't think it has occurred to me. I know that I lead on stairs left foot so first. You, noticed anything I I, you, you fucking, you, you lunge upstairs! <laughs> I really do. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I would I would open a private investigation firm. Yeah. Um, and I understand that most of it is like, you know, trying to catch people cheating on each other. And yeah. You end up. So private investigation is kind of like a, a weird field in which some of the stuff you do can be punishable by law. Uh, you don't have the authority of the law and all that. But yeah. Like, since when the fuck is that ever stopped? Yeah. Does it? Um. Uh, like, should we ever tell that one time where you guys just, we should were, were you and the Marine just tossed a bag of booze and ran back to my house? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, that, that can happen in Pokemon! Sweet. We'll do that, we'll record that in Pokemon. Our suspect. Oh, this, this is the guy you buy guns from. And he's black? Yeah. I'm FBI special. Is that, Agent Francis I feel Francis. like that's racist. It's incredibly racist. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley. Anyway, um, and the bear. what about you? People around Would you call what, sandwich shop? Sandwich shop? I already said it. I didn't listen to you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you never listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would. I would open either. I would open like a combination like sandwich shop, tattoo parlor, combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I'm at the Pizza Hut. I'm at the Taco Bell. No, but like it would be separated by a by by like a like a like a saloon door. All you need. <laughs> just just a saloon door. Yeah. Um. Oh, he's selling me guns yeah, he, right now. Yeah. You you already have a ten millimeter machine gun, but you can buy all this shit too. Like you you can go buy a store later and get better guns. Should I get? You you already have ammo. We'll buy some anyway. You have plenty of cash. Okay, sure. Why not? Did he actually bring guns to sell at the town meeting about the murderer? Yeah. That's smart business. Yeah. That's smart yeah, business. Yeah, so, so these people can defend <laughs> this. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, so it's like, um, so it would be like, because cause you're encouraged to eat several hours, or you're encouraged to eat before you get a tattoo. You're supposed to have, you're, you're supposed to have like, your, uh, like, uh, high blood sugar level, you're supposed to have yeah. thick blood. So what you can do, so if, if you haven't eaten, you can go eat first and then come get tattooed. See you then. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, that's and and I probably can not the greatest business plan to run two businesses based entirely off of each other. Well, and also it's like... But it, it works. Well, and, I, and I, I, I've spoken to a lot of other people about this. Like, I always get the munchies after I get a tattoo. I'm like, US crazy munchies. Weird. Well, I, well, and, well, I, I'm I sure know there's some scientific yeah. reason behind it. That's well, crazy. I think... Well, was it like the shortest I've ever sat for a tattoo was like 30 40 minutes All right, and so the longest I've ever sat there was like two and a half so as as of this recording right now uh, I've won yeah one tattoo uh, and I had a very short window of opportunity in which I could get it yeah um, I remember this so I went in got the tattoo and I'm not sure exactly what happened in the process but uh, he went pretty deep with the needle. I, I remember saying he was just really heavy-handed. And uh, Can you tell me if you noticed anything. Yeah, I bled like on a motherfucker. Yeah. So they gave they gave me the whole huge uh, bandage sure and all that. Yeah. And well, he gave you the saran wrap. Anything. Um, no yeah, he gave me the. Saran I hate. Wrap. I. I it's great because you can show it off, but it's actually really bad at, like, keeping the blood. Yeah, and I had to go to work right after yeah. that. So I ran down to work, and I, I was, like, I don't know, probably about two hours into the, the shift. Yeah, you were a box office, right? <laughs> no, I was Booth. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, And uh, my coworker turned to me and was like, dude, are you okay? And I was like, 
yeah, I'm fine. What's up? And he was like, you're covered in blood. And I was like, what? And I looked down. I am dripping yeah. in blood. Like, it is, it is soaked through my work shirt. Like, all this other fucking crap. Like, it was, it was, hey, hey, hey. And then you're just like, <laughs> oh, I got a tattoo. Yeah. How do I know these people already? It's, it's, oh. they're from the hospital in Freckly Fiona. That's literally the nickname they give her. It's Freckly Fiona. Well, I yeah. actually, I like super love Fiona. Tell me I, I like redheads. Yeah. I, no, specifically, I like gingers. You've, you've mentioned that yeah. once or twice. I mentioned it a lot. A thousand times every night. Whatever you say, Samus. <laughs> I mean, Samus is just, 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 just such a babe. Yeah, she's super Amazonian, and it's great. Such a babe. I'm not really into the Amazonian <laughs> aspect, but the babe, babelicious aspect. Yeah. Oh, also, if you, if you like, uh, maybe you've noticed, but in, in our new channel banner, that's Samus. Oh, yeah, that's Samus yeah, on the I, I made that specific request. Um, I would not put Samus on the tracks. No, but it's it's a Samus non-specific actual areas. villain. Are you getting closer related to my life? Hello again. Yeah, like, like good to see you. She'd be Peggy. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it would be. I mean, if she wants to. Maybe. <laughs> oh, whatever <laughs> Samus wants. She whatever does. Samus wants, man. All right. Nice. I would, I would work. Sugoi. Very- I would work very Kawaii hard Desu. <laughs> that relationship, you know, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I'm, she would wear the pants and the skirt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a weird episode. Yeah, it's strange. all we're doing is talking and arguing these last couple episodes. Well, it's just, there's so much talking yeah. going on right okay. now, and if people want to yeah. pay attention to the story, they can it's read. Fine. If they, they want, want to hear his bullshit, that's cool too. I want to talk about you know the many things I would do Doctor. for Samus, then you know they could do that too. Or Samus would do. That. <laughs> Oh, he must be loaded. Rick God damn. Yeah. God damn. Perfect no, but yeah, so like, Tokyo knows, uh, just kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, like, I have quite a bit of tattoos. Yeah, yeah, you've got a bunch. But like, I've never sat for more than two and a half hours on it, on any given tattoo. Really? Yeah. Never done more than that? No. You've got some pretty intricate tattoos. I'm yeah, right? Yeah. To hear that. Like the, the one, on, the one on my right forearm, like, you, you can't see it, but I'll just show it like this. This took two and a half hours. That's the longest? Yeah. What, what about the one underneath? This one? Yeah. Oh, wait. 90 no, minutes. That's, that's, this was 90 minutes. Yeah, that's not super huge. This was also 90 minutes. What about the one that represents me? Oh, this one? Yeah. This one took, like, maybe 45 minutes? Huh. Really? Yeah. That's short. Yeah. Let me see the detail on that. That's good detail. My, ar- my artist minutes. is amazing. Yeah. That- like... Maybe it took like an hour. I think I think I asked him, and he was like, like, because I always just like to like to kind of ask and be like, like, um, what 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 do you think in the time frame is? And I don't say it and be like, oh, I want this to hurry up, but you know, I just kind of like to know, just just so I can, or or occasionally my tad my my I artist would just be to like, everyone? uh, there's like another side of the building. God damn, there's so much. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. These are usually longer episodes. Um. Or no, I think you did talk to everyone. I, I don't remember what you... I think I think you gotta go back and talk to George or something. I tried. He wouldn't talk to me. Uh, yeah, you're, wait, you already talked to them. I talked to them. Yeah. But is there another, like, side of this... I don't think so. Thing? No, but yeah, so, like, uh, you, even occasionally artists would just be like... Uh, he would just be like, oh, yeah, so this will probably take, like, an hour. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've talked to everyone. Yeah, no, you've talked to everybody. Maybe, so go, maybe go I'll talk and, to Emily then. Yeah, I, it's either Emily or it's Tom. You already talked to Thomas. You talked to I don't, I don't have to talk to anyone in this crowd, right? No, because they're not named. They're all faceless creatures. Yeah. I, I can't you have to talk, talk to, to you. Uh, I thought I talked to George, but I can't. George. George, Maybe you just hey. leave. Hey! Hey! Try, try just leaving. Hey! Well, yeah. I mean, I can talk to Thomas again. Oh, yeah, because he tells you to go talk to everyone, right? I can't believe you thought I was a suspect, Agent York. Uh, shut up, Thomas. I'm still in shock. Uh, I got a burp. Oh, goodness. Yeah, just leave. Fuck it. All right. That's pretty fucking rude of yeah. you. I'm just I, doing I, my I goddamn think you just job. Leave. Just doing my goddamn job. My, my job. Da- <laughs> what happened to you? I don't know. Who hurt you? What the fuck? What do we do? Oh, did you know you haven't talked to Polly yet? Yes, I have. You didn't. Yes, I did. Did you? I super talked Mr. to Polly. Morgan, I, no, I remember you talking to, to Roaming Sigourney. Thank you, I remember you talking to Polly. Alright, whatever. Yeah, well, whatever. We, we talked to Polly. She could get it. <laughs> I'm talking about back when this no. Voice was no, she, she couldn't. <laughs> She's very nice, though. I actually, I really like her voice actress, actually. 
God. Oh God, she's talking about her dead husband. Again. Oh God, oh God, oh God, what do we do? What do, we do? <laughs> Look at George just like, I'm fucking done with this shit. <laughs> Uh, He's just like pointing at where he wants the bullet to strike him so directly <laughs> in my chest piece. Just let it here, right in the throat. Let me bleed out to death. I deserve to suffer. <laughs> the suffering would still be preferable to this. Uh, no, but yeah, and even this one, the one on top of my left forearm, this took like an hour. Yeah, this took like 90 minutes as well. Do you remember how long that took? I think it was an hour, 90 minutes. Yeah, your, your, some, yours was about that. an hour or so. Yeah. No, but yeah, no, I saw him. Your artist was like super heavy handed. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he really stabbed me with yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, well, it it, it's good because yours hasn't like faded. Yeah, it hasn't. There, like, there, like, there are a couple. There mine are a couple haven't really. Needs, mine please. haven't really either. But that's because like my artist uses like my artist just uses like really high quality ink. Yeah. 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 Tell that. Well, and like this actually, he actually has a very light touch, but it's not like the ones where it's like, yeah, you, know, you know, you, you kind of just get a little bit, and then like you get like the top layer or two. Like, like he's not super heavy-handed, but like he has got a he's got a very deft, dexterous touch. Mine's also uh, permanently raised. Yeah. Uh, my tattoo is permanently yeah. raised. I have parts of some of my tattoos that are raised, but I think that's just like this. This one, my I had one on my inner arm. Like, everyone's always like, oh, the inner arm's, like, the most painful. I, like, didn't even feel this. See? We didn't talk to Polly. You right. Agent I'm... Morgan. I'd like to let everyone... Shut up. What is... I, I said this a couple episodes. Why does George always do this stupid dance? <laughs> like... Maybe we should just start doing that. We should both pick, like, a dance. Well, just I was telling tell you earlier new. when we went to go get brunch, we should get cowboy hats. Well, I was just talking about a dance. No, but we can do the cowboy hat dance. But we can do whatever dance we want to do. No, but yeah. cowboy hat dance, though. We have we have to do the George dance. <laughs> but what if I want to make my own dance? Well, then make a variation of the George dance. No, it doesn't have to be a variation. I can just no, make my own. That's probably okay. Why are you telling me how to live my life? <laughs> Not in front of the kids! Yeah! Alright, so we're going to end this episode here, I guess. Yeah, probably. That good for you? Yeah, that's fine. Is this as good for you as it was for me? No, this was terrible for all people involved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bye. Well, uh, well, sh should we... Eh, fuck it. Bye! <laughs>